Hi, my name is Franco from Magneto Thermals. We are here at Magali's Park Holiday Resort and we've just completed an installation of the brand new 200 liter Magneto Thermo Tank. I'm about to show you the basic steps to follow when we're commissioning this tank. Behind me the tank has just been installed and the first steps that we take is to make sure that the tank is standing on a level surface like we've done here with adjustable plinth. The unit has been installed in an upright position, perfectly level and we've now connected the hot and the cold water supply to the back of the tank. The pipes are running up to where the old hot water system used to be on the roof. So we just bring in down the pressured cold water line. We plumb it in at the back of the unit and we've connected the hot water that leaves the tank that leads up to the top of the roof where it enters the chalet. Once that is done and the water has been connected, we establish that there's water pressure. We can now gently open the valves which will supply pressure to the unit, which is the coil inside. So the coil will now flush the air out of the coil, pushes the air out on the inside of the unit. You can do that by means of opening the tap and let the volume of air escape where the, where the coil is now being filled with water. Once that has been done and the unit has been primed, you must remember that this tank is still not filled with the solution that it needs to be operated on. The tank is pre-charged in the factory with a glycol solution which is at the bottom of the tank. Upon installation you first need to fill the tank before you switch the unit on. So the following procedures are needed. The unit is equipped with a three-point plug, South African standard, and there's also a three-point weatherproof isolator plug. So I will plug the unit in, then I will switch the unit on, and immediately you'll hear the unit start filling itself. The unit is equipped with an auto filler valve on the inside which is connected to the high pressure cold line coming in. What you're hearing now is the sound of the water that enters the tank. To indicate the filling process taking place there's a red LED light on the screen in the front where it says water level indicator. The pilot light is now switched off. That means the tank is now filled to optimum level and the unit is ready to be activated. You activate the unit by tearing off the red sticker on the top and opening the door by compressing the button on the side. It's got a little latch on the inside, you open the door and that will reveal the control panel in the standby mode. You'll clearly see that there's also a small little picture of a lock on the screen which is really just a child lock. To remove the child lock you have to keep the press both arrows up and down arrows in for a few seconds till you see the lock disappear. It's just disappeared now and now all you need to do is, everything is prior set in the factory, you just press the start button once to activate the machine. You'll hear the fan activate of the heat pump, you'll also see that the little picture of the sun comes up and it now will give you also the temperature of the water that's inside the tank, which is now mixed with a glycol solution. Also on the first startup, because we have water temperatures below 35 degrees, the backup element will engage with the first session only and that is indicated by these three little heat waves on the top right hand corner of the screen. Once this unit is activated it will now start charging the water and the glycol solution up to temperature and that should take in the region of about three to three and a half hours from startup because the tank has just been filled with cold water. Then the unit will be ready for use.